The moon has hung in our night sky, a silent sentinel, a beacon of mystery. But what if this familiar orb holds secrets far grander than we ever imagined? What if it is not merely a rock, but a cosmic time capsule, preserving the very origins of our solar system? Prepare to journey beyond the familiar into the profound discoveries that are reshaping our understanding of Earth's closest celestial neighbor. Beneath its cratered surface, the moon reveals a complex internal architecture, surprisingly similar to our own planet. NASA's meticulous observations, particularly through seismic data from Apollo missions, have unveiled an evolved, rocky body. It possesses a distinct crust, a vast mantle, and a core that hints at dynamic processes within. The lunar crust, varying in thickness, is composed primarily of a northosite, a light-colored, feldspar-rich rock. This composition provides crucial evidence for the Moon's early differentiation. Below lies the mantle, a thick layer of denser rock, likely rich in olivine and pyroxene. Seismic waves traveling through this region have allowed scientists to map its properties. At the Moon's heart lies a small, partially molten core. Data suggests a solid inner core, roughly 240 kilometers in radius, surrounded by a fluid outer core of about 300 kilometers. This metallic core, rich in iron, is far smaller relative to the Moon's size than Earth's core. Its existence confirms that the Moon, like Earth, underwent significant internal differentiation early in its history. Lunar rocks themselves are a testament to violent cosmic processes. They are igneous, formed from molten material erupted through ancient volcanoes or metamorphic, transformed by intense heat and pressure. Many are breccias, fragments of rock cemented together by the crushing force of meteor impacts. Each sample tells a story of melting, eruption, and relentless bombardment, offering unparalleled insights into planetary formation. Unlike Earth, which constantly reshapes its surface through plate tectonics, erosion, and volcanism, the Moon is a geological fossil. It lacks a significant atmosphere, liquid water, or active tectonic plates. This geological inertia means its surface preserves an astonishingly complete record of its past, making it an invaluable archive of the early solar system. The oldest moon rocks ever discovered are truly ancient, predating the oldest known Earth rocks. One particular sample, collected during the Apollo 17 mission, has been dated to approximately 4.46 billion years old. This age places its formation just after the Moon itself coalesced, providing a direct window into the conditions of the early solar system. It tells us about the primordial crust that formed as the Moon cooled. This remarkable preservation allows scientists to piece together the Moon's early history, a period of intense bombardment and rapid evolution. The lunar surface is a testament to the chaotic conditions that prevailed in the inner solar system billions of years ago. By studying these ancient rocks, researchers can infer the composition and processes of the early Earth, whose own primordial record has largely been erased. The Moon is not just a neighbor, it is a mirror reflecting our own planet's deep past. The Moon's surface is a testament to a violent past, scarred by countless impact craters. These circular depressions, ranging from microscopic pits to vast basins hundreds of kilometers across, are more than just geological features. They are cosmic clocks, providing a chronological framework for understanding the history of the inner solar system. The sheer density and variety of craters offer an unparalleled record of bombardment. By studying the superposition of craters, which crater lies on top of another, scientists can establish relative ages. Larger, more degraded craters are generally older, while sharper, smaller ones are more recent. This principle, combined with radiometric dating of lunar samples, has allowed researchers to calibrate a crater chronology. This chronology is a fundamental tool for dating surfaces across the solar system. 
The extensive record of lunar impacts helps unravel time scales for the geologic evolution of other planets. Mercury, Venus and Mars, though possessing their own unique geological processes, all bear the marks of early bombardment. By comparing their cratering records to the Moon's well-established timeline, scientists can estimate the ages of their surfaces and major geological events. This comparative planetology is crucial for understanding the diverse evolutionary paths of rocky worlds. The Moon's craters also provide direct evidence for the Late Heavy Bombardment (LHB), a hypothesized period around 3.9 billion years ago. During this era, the inner solar system was pummeled by a surge of asteroids and comets. The immense basins on the Moon, such as Mare Imbrium and Mare Oriental, are thought to be remnants of these colossal impacts. Understanding the LHB on the Moon helps us comprehend its profound effects on Earth and the other inner planets, potentially influencing the early conditions for life. One of the most profound insights into the Moon's formation is the concept of the lunar magma ocean. Immediately following its violent birth, likely from a colossal impact between a Mars-sized body and early Earth, the Moon was a molten inferno. This global ocean of liquid rock, hundreds of kilometers deep, covered the entire nascent Moon. The immense energy from accretion and the impact itself kept the Moon in this fiery state. As this vast magma ocean slowly cooled, differentiation began. Denser minerals like olivine and pyroxene crystallized and sank towards the center, forming the lunar mantle. Lighter minerals, particularly plagioclase feldspar, floated to the surface, much like icebergs on water. This process led to the formation of the moon's and North Ossetic crust, the light-colored highlands we see today. The presence of these ancient and North Ossite samples, collected by Apollo astronauts, provides compelling evidence for this global differentiation event. This initial cooling and crust formation were followed by a period of intense bombardment, creating the massive basins that define the Moon's face. These colossal impacts fractured the newly formed crust, allowing molten material from the mantle to well up. Over eons, these basins were subsequently filled by vast outpourings of basaltic lava, creating the dark, relatively smooth plains known as Maria, Latin for seas. These lava flows, visible even from Earth, represent a later stage of lunar volcanism long after the initial magma ocean had solidified. The lunar magma ocean hypothesis is a cornerstone of modern lunar science. It explains the Moon's layered structure, the composition of its crust, and the origin of its ancient highlands. It paints a vivid picture of a young Moon, glowing red-hot, undergoing a dramatic transformation that set the stage for its subsequent geological evolution. Understanding this fiery genesis is key to unlocking the secrets of planetary formation across the cosmos. For decades, the Moon was considered a bone-dry, desolate world. This perception began to shift with tantalizing hints and then definitive proof of water. This discovery has revolutionized our understanding of lunar geology and holds immense implications for future human exploration. Water on the Moon is not just a scientific curiosity, it is a potential game-changer for sustainable lunar presence. Water exists on the Moon in various forms and locations. Some is hidden within the grains of lunar dust or regolith, particularly in sunlit areas. These are not pools of liquid water, but rather water molecules. H2O and hydroxyl OH groups adsorbed onto the surface of mineral grains. Missions like Chandrayaan-1's Moon Mineralogy Mapper, M3, and NASA's SOFIA Airborne Observatory detected these molecules, confirming their widespread presence, albeit in very small quantities. This surface water is thought to be constantly created and destroyed by interactions with the solar wind. The most significant reservoirs of water ice are believed to reside in permanently shadowed regions, PSRs, near the Moon's poles. 
these deep craters and depressions never receive direct sunlight, maintaining incredibly cold temperatures, sometimes as low as minus 240 degrees Celsius, minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. These frigid traps act as cold storage for volatiles, including water ice accumulated over billions of years from comet and asteroid impacts or even from solar wind interactions. Missions like Lunar Prospector and El Saros, Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite, provided strong evidence for substantial ice deposits in these PSRs. El Cross, by intentionally crashing a spent rocket stage into a polar crater, directly detected water vapor and ice particles in the resulting plume. The presence of water, particularly in the form of ice, transforms the moon from a barren rock into a potential outpost. Water can be processed into breathable oxygen for astronauts and hydrogen for rocket fuel. This in-situ resource utilization, ice roo capability, could drastically reduce the cost and complexity of future lunar missions. Instead of launching all necessary supplies from Earth, future lunar inhabitants could live off the land, making a sustained human presence on the Moon a far more achievable reality. The search for and characterization of lunar water continues to be a top priority for lunar science and exploration. The quest to understand our Moon is far from over. It is entering a new, exciting phase. NASA continues to push the boundaries of lunar exploration through groundbreaking missions like the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter LRO, and the ambitious Artemis program. These initiatives are not just about scientific discovery, they are about preparing humanity for a sustained presence beyond Earth. Since its launch in 2009, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter LRO, has been a tireless cartographer of the Moon. Circling in a low polar orbit, LRO has meticulously mapped the lunar surface with unprecedented detail. Its suite of instruments has provided high-resolution images, precise topographic maps, and thermal data. LRO's mission is multifaceted. It identifies potential future landing sites, assesses lighting conditions, and characterizes the radiation environment. Its data has been instrumental in confirming the presence of water ice in permanently shadowed regions and understanding the lunar thermal environment. LRO's continuous stream of data is foundational for planning future human and robotic missions, ensuring safety and maximizing scientific return. Building on LRO's insights, the Artemis program represents humanity's bold return to the Moon. Its overarching goal is to send astronauts back to the lunar surface, not just for flags and footprints, but for sustained scientific discovery, economic benefits, and profound inspiration. Artemis aims to establish a long-term human presence on and around the Moon, paving the way for future missions to Mars. The program is designed in phases, starting with uncrewed test flights, Artemis 1, followed by crewed orbits, Artemis 2, and ultimately, human landings, Artemis III and beyond. Artemis is a complex endeavor, leveraging cutting-edge technology. It utilizes the powerful Space Launch System, SLS rocket, the Orion spacecraft, and the Gateway Lunar Orbiting Outpost. The program emphasizes international collaboration and commercial partnerships, fostering a new lunar economy. By returning to the Moon, NASA seeks to unlock new scientific knowledge about the solar system, develop technologies for deep space exploration, and inspire a new generation of explorers. The Moon is no longer just a destination. It is a proving ground, a stepping stone, and a vital part of humanity's future in space. The Moon, once a distant enigmatic orb, has been transformed by NASA's relentless pursuit of knowledge. From its fiery birth as a magma ocean to its role as a cosmic time capsule, preserving the scars of ancient impacts, every discovery 
deepens our understanding of planetary evolution. The revelation of water, once thought impossible, has reshaped our vision of humanity's future in space, turning science fiction into tangible possibility. The moon is not merely a satellite, it is a dynamic world, a witness to the solar system's tumultuous past and a crucial stepping stone to our future among the stars. We stand at the precipice of a new era of lunar exploration, an era that promises unprecedented scientific breakthroughs and the expansion of human presence beyond Earth. The secrets the moon still holds are vast, waiting to be uncovered by the next generation of researchers, engineers and explorers. Join us in this grand adventure. Explore the wealth of data from LRO, Follow the progress of the Artemis program and engage with the scientific community. Share these incredible discoveries with your friends and family, sparking curiosity and wonder. Support initiatives that push the boundaries of space exploration, for it is through understanding our cosmic neighborhood that we truly understand ourselves. The moon beckons. Let us answer its call.